The key to get your U.S. passport done is to comply all the requirements together. What's up everyone? Kumusta mga kabayan? Kumusta Philippines? Mabuhay Philippines! My name is Abelina Incabo and today's topic is about how to apply and how to fill out the form for U.S. passport process for minors under 16 years old. In this topic, I will discuss U.S. passport book. For those who doesn't know, Post Office is the one designated acceptance agency for U.S. passport process. But it depends to the Post Office. Not all Post Office, they will do a U.S. passport process. Please bear with me. In this topic, it will be more important details to discuss. And you will need this information before you go inside to the post office for your U.S. passport process. I will be sharing with you all all the important details and all the, the tips that I'm going to share with you all. And being prepared is the key to get your U.S. passport done in the right way. For Eligible applicant must have an evidence of U.S. citizenship. It means must have a, a proof of U.S. citizenship or you have like a birth certificate, the certified or original copy of your birth certificate. Requirements for U.S. passport process for minor under 16 years old. Number one, appointment setup. Number two, it's a forms. Number three, is supporting documents. Number four, parents proof of identification. Number five, pictures. Number six, processing fees. Number seven, payment methods. Number eight, processing time. If you have any question, go check travel.state.gov all the information that you are going to us it's on the website but i will help you uh, how to prepare all this process in order for you to get your your u.s passport uh, for minors okay um hey if you get value to this video please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for my next video so that it will notify you for my upcoming videos okay double check your local post office before you go to apply for your passport because it might give you some ideas where to to go to the acceptance agency okay not all post office they will accept to to do u.s passport process requirements number one set up for appointment appointment setup is very important for this process because this is a new application it is due to the high demand of the applicants every day so nowadays it has to be by appointment only okay without appointment setup they will not accept your application all right just to let you know you can set up your appointment through online to usps.com scheduler or you can set up an appointment using ssk self-service machine at the post office lobby area so it will process for a u.s passport appointment and just take time to to read it will accept for u.s passport appointment okay yeah unfortunately this service does required by appointment only okay so it is a new application process so that's why they want you to to do by appointment okay before before coming in inside to the post office the appointment set up let's say you set up today it will be the following day there is no the same day uh, service there's no the same day acceptance for the application it has to be like tomorrow okay because that day it's already packed it's already fully booked for the applicant to apply for u.s passport all right so it will guide you to the online it will give you some option what day and what time okay but make sure each location that you're going to to pick make sure they will do to that certain day and time 
because not all post office has the same same time and date for acceptance for your application uh, you have to come in 15 minutes before your appointment sometimes like 30 minutes before it, I would suggest 30 minutes before because sometimes the applicant before you they won't show up so there's a possibility you will uh, they will take you early for me I would suggest come early a little bit all right not late because if once you late they would not accept your application it's pretty um, I don't know some some agent they're very um, strict okay just be honest here okay so when you go to the post office you have to wait to the line unfortunately you have to wait to the line like everybody else okay for this processing minors must be under 16 years old applicants both parents or legal guardians applied in person and must be appeared must be presence and appeared during an interview to set up an appointment if you don't have a computer access you can go like library your local library or ask somebody to help you just to make this appointment for your u.s passport but like i said without appointment they would not accept your application when you make this an appointment through online make sure to confirm your appointment because if you don't confirm your appointment and then when you go to the post office and then it, it come out that your appointment does not mostly customer forget to confirm their appointment make sure to confirm the appointment when you're setting up your appointment online it will ask you for your email so double check your email if it is connected to your email your appointment to the usps.com appointment setup you will get a message that your your passport appointment is confirmed make sure you got that or else and you go to the post office and then when they look up their list to that day for their appointment and then your name is not there at least you show that confirmation number all right this is number number two requirements forms legible applicant must use ds11 form this one it is a gold or yellow color off-white or white color it's a ds11 for for the brand new for minor application and use black ink when you fill out this form it says here but it's so small be careful when you fill out this form if you make mistake draw a line and rewrite on the top do not put a white out okay and do not use blue ink and do not sign do not do this portion here that it say stop it's a uh, official use only this is the portion for the passport agent when you see this big and bold don't do it and this one also this is for official use so take time and read this application before you go to the post office forms must be filled out before you go inside or before you go to your appointment but only this portion here to fill out this one and this very top here the top one you can get the form at the post office lobby area or the post office retail window or you can ask the postal clerk or you can go to the website the travelstate.gov on the department of state website there is a form to fill out and there is a form to do like form filler make sure when when you do the form filler make sure you print it out and do not sign just print it out okay do not sign and bring it with you because your form must be actual physically along with your documents with your supporting documents all this uh, identification proof of identification and evidence of citizenship you have to bring all those uh, actual uh, documents number three requirements number three supporting documents for applicant the minors the under 16 years old legible applicants must 
provide and must have like evidence of US citizenship. Evidence of citizenship like the birth certificate and the birth certificate, the one, the sealed one, it's from the record of Vital Statistic Office, not the hospital one, the card one. They would not accept that. And also some other form of um, ID. And then for the parents, uh, both parents appeared in, in person uh, during interview okay so parents or legal guardians so they have to show their unexpired driver's license or their passport or their um some kind of like a supporting documents for to prove the the relationship to that child parents proof of identification so evidence of citizenship and also the unexpired identification like driver's license number one and also the undamaged passport or state ID or military ID or their passport as long as they have something to support to the applicant's uh, documents. It has to have uh, like legal documents so that prove to the relation to the to the minor to the child okay so uh if the applicants it's out of state let's say for example the post office that they are applying it's the ohio and then the applicant is from indiana and they apply passport in ohio because that's the post office acceptance center that they're going to apply they need to provide a second form of identification like work badge or like um, the one with the recent picture for their parents not for the applicants only for the parents okay for the parents or legal guardians applicants must provide second form of identification for example current pictures uh, work badge voters registration card or the state id all right just to give you a heads up for that if you live uh, in different state if you apply passport not the same state they will require you for second form of identification the passport agent would not process your application if your supporting documents is incomplete okay it will not go further discussion if lack of supporting documents okay so picture you will get picture during at the the processing time at the post office post office they will do a picture process so one more thing when you set up appointment make sure you choose u.s passport new application and picture if you want to get picture at the post office you can get both like new application process and picture they will give you option in there like new application process only or new application process and picture so if i were you choose new application process and also photo service uh during on your setting up or appointment all right for pictures pictures is two by two the the size of the pictures it's a white background and and you can purchase picture during your interview at the post office it's 15 dollars per person or you can get at walmart or Wal walgreen i believe you can get that and also processing fee the processing fee for department of state for minors is hundred dollars and for post office execution fee is 35 dollars it is non-refundable and also it is the final sale for this process it is not refundable once it's processed it process if you change your mind they would not refund you the 35 dollars just to give you a heads up for that the execution fee 35 dollars that's for the post office uh passport agent it's not for passport issuance okay the hundred dollars it is for department of state payment methods the payment methods that you're going to do is you can bring cash and then or you can bring your debit card or your personal check because the payment that you're going to send to department of state either your personal check or you buy postal money order and postal money order only do debit card or cash 
all right and also no credit card yeah you can pay credit card your processing fee like the 35 dollars I believe so and also the picture but going to department of state it has to be cash post on money order or your debit card or your yeah your personal check department of state clearly announced on their website their processing time begins when they accept the application form not the day that you mailed in is not counted they are clearly um, explained on their website because a lot of people are expecting their their application process during they mail the application no they clearly explain on their website the processing time begins when they accept the application on their facility center not the day you mailed in your your application just keep in mind okay for processing time for processing time for u.s passport book for minor for routine service is 8 to 11 weeks it's a hundred dollars for expedite service it's um 160 dollars it's five to seven weeks all right so for routine service is hundred dollars and if you want to do expedite you have to pay extra sixty dollars so that that would be total hundred sixty dollars okay if you want to do overnight service one to two business day that returning back to you from the department of state you have to pay extra extra fee for that like eighteen dollars and thirty two cents all right i believe that's a one to two service one to two business days when they they send it back to you fast expedite service all right after everything done process if you comply all the requirements together and then the passport agent done processing this and everything it's all good and it's the passport agent will ask you to to swear and also sign here okay you have to swear that all this information you provided is correct and likeness of you for the minor you have to sign on behalf for your child so the passport agent will let you swear and also and sign and pay attention here she will discuss this to you all of these the passport agent will collect all the the original documents like birth certificate uh, a proof of uh, evidence of u.s citizenship and also she make a copy for the driver's license and also she make copy for the u.s passport for the both parents and the id for both parents she just make copy for that but birth certificate she has to get the original one and send it along or together with this form to uh, send it together to the department of state and then the, the passport agent will staple the picture here and then she will process this and that's the time you you swear and you sign on behalf for your child okay so yeah bear bear with them once they ask you for information oh one more thing when you fill out this form before you go to the post office form must be filled out okay if you have travel plan and then they will advise you if you want to do routine service or expedite let them know if you have a travel plan because they will they will give you some kind of like option for for they know what how many days to get done for for expedite they will tell you uh during the process to this for your child's application okay all the documents the the forms together uh, birth certificate and other forms the passport agent will send all the documents together to the department of state and then after a few few weeks the department of state will send you a, a separate envelope that your original uh, documents and send it back to you so don't worry they will send it back to you the original one if you worry about this the birth certificate other forms of ev evidence of citizenship they will send it back to you okay so don't worry about it
if you have any question regarding to this topic yeah you can leave me comment below or direct message me on my on my instagram account please don't forget to share like and subscribe and hey be nice out there and be kind and hey thank you for for watching this video and and i will see you guys on my next video and thank you and have a good vacation everyone bye Thank you.